Hi, and welcome to Demystifying Math. Today we're going to be working on creating parametric equations that represent a cycloid. But before we get started, we should probably figure out how a cycloid is created. In this picture, we have a circle that's moving along the x-axis. Also, point P is moving around the circle. Notice that as point P moves around the circle, point D has moved that same distance along the x-axis. And this will continue to repeat, creating what we call a cycloid. Notice that for this particular problem, the radius of the circle is 1. Let's review what we just saw. The circle has a radius of 1. Point P traces out the path of the cycloid. The distance traveled along the x-axis by point D is equal to the arc length of K. So to get an equation for the cycloid, we need to figure out what the coordinates of point P are. The coordinates of point C are D comma radius. Well, the radius in this case is 1. Now I've created a triangle PRC. What you should notice is that PR is labeled BD, which corresponds to BD on our x-coordinate, on our x-axis. If we look at the sine of alpha, it's equal to the opposite, which is BD, over the length of the hypotenuse, which in this case is 1. So the sine of alpha equals 1. We also should know that the sine of a supplementary angle is going to equal the sine of the angle itself. So in this case, the sine of theta is equal to the sine of alpha. Also, the length of arc K is equal to the length of segment OD. Remember when we were sketching it out? Point P moved the same distance as point D. So we get those two lengths are equal, which gives us the measure of angle theta. Now we have the length of OB is equal to the length of OD minus BD, which in this case becomes theta minus sine theta, which gives us the x-coordinate of point P. Next we will try to find the coordinate for the y-coordinate for point P. Since point P and point R have the same y-coordinate, that'll help us figure out what the y-coordinate is of point P. dr is equal to the length of dc plus cr. And we know that dc has a length of 1 because it's the radius of the circle. We also can figure out the cosine of alpha is equal to cr over 1 using the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And also, we know that the cosine of the supplementary angle is equal to the opposite of the cosine of alpha. So we have CR is equal to the negative of the cosine of alpha of theta. So DR equals 1 minus cosine theta, which equals the y-coordinate of point P. So now we have the y-coordinate and the x-coordinate for point P in terms of theta. Now the only thing left for us to do is to make this more general. So instead of having a circle of radius 1, we have a circle of radius A. All we need to do to make an adjustment for this is to multiply every part of the coordinate by A, which we've done here is A theta minus A sine theta for the x coordinate, and A minus A cosine theta for the y coordinate. Or we can just take that a and factor it out. So we have here x coordinate a times theta minus sine theta, which gives us our x parametric equation for a cycloid in general. And y equals a times 1 minus cosine theta for our y coordinate, our y equation for the parametric equations. I hope this helped you to figure out parametric equations that represent cycloids. And thank you for joining us at Demystifying Math.